Hello everyone, uh, so this is uh, Khaled again with the uh, on-step uh, Fiset CS6 3D printing board. So uh, as I usually do, I just put it in a carton uh, cover and then uh, waterproof it with uh, packing tape. So the two, th the two new things, I've, I've covered this before, see my previous videos to uh, uh, about uh, that board but two features I want to cover in this video the first is the GPS and uh, the GPS is, is connected according to the uh, wiki uh, page um, and then there is uh, an antenna going out and this uh, one second uh, pulse means it's a, a pulse per second so there is one hertz signal that uh, is used to calibrate the uh, uh, on step so that works, and the, the, the benefit of that is also that you don't have to ever enter the uh, date or the time or the latitude, longitude, and all that. Uh, the other feature I want to cover is the heater. So basically, if you look, if you look in here, there are a couple of heaters here. I think there are three heaters, uh, actually four if you count the bed. Uh, and then uh, what, I, what I've done is that I, I just put an RCA. Um, uh, connector here and just connected it, uh, soldered two wires to it and then connected it to these screw terminals here and then uh, I just connect the uh, uh, the heat shield, the, the dew shield that I have uh, uh, for the Celestron C8 and, uh, uh, and then uh, you can control that from uh, uh, on step uh, first, uh, let us see if it's working or not. So I'll just put, I'll just uh, point the. Okay, so the ambient temperature is about twenty-one. That's uh, inside inside the house, but if I go on the collar here, you see that the temperature has increased to twenty-four or so. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's a cat, right? Anyway, so. If you look in here, you'll see that in OnStep now there is a feature called Auxiliary. If you have configured uh, something, uh, one of the Auxiliary features. So basically, this is the dew heater, and you can set it to, you know, 90%. Uh, it will it will increase the uh, uh, the heat that's going into the uh, uh, the heater, and you can have multiple heaters, one heater to the main uh, optical uh, tube, another one for the focuser, and the third one for uh, uh, what have you, uh, like a diagonal or uh, a guide scope or, or something like that. So I just wanted to show you that now you can have integrated heaters in on step, and this works with the S6, and it should work with the MKS Gen L as well even though the MKS Gen L has uh, a much slower processor than the Fisec uh, S6. S so uh, um, just wanted to share that. Uh, by the way, this board is, is the 1.2 version. Uh, there's a new version that's uh, 2.0 and uh, we're working on it to, to get it working. Uh, the, some users have reported uh, uh, some issues with it and they are still being worked out. Anyway, I just wanted to let's let's check again if this if this thing has heated up more. So again, ambient temperature is 21. And if I go in here, it didn't it didn't have well, it's it's almost 20, 25. So it did heat up a bit uh, as long as it's above ambient. And this is the other end of it. So this is the the, the end that's closer to the the wire that's coming out okay so uh, now with 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 on step you can have integrated heaters and you don't have to I as you see here I have just one uh, I just one power supply that's going into it this is actually a laptop uh, power supply and it goes right into the uh, uh, fiset uh, s6 board and it's basically for the heater and uh, the uh, um, the the on step, so 
in effect I just saved one having to carry or to uh, uh, worry about one, uh, one, one more power supply. So it's one less power supply in the end. Hope this is helpful and it motivates some of you to, to go and do uh, 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 good things with OnStep. And again, thanks to Howard Dutton, the author of OnStep, who shared it with us.